Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I brought my notebook in, Gloria. <laughs> Gloria told me to bring my notebook in because sometimes I forget what I want to say, which is a lot. I do forget what I want to say. Well, I mentioned yesterday that I was watching a movie, but I didn't know the title of it until after I was after the movie was actually done. Is when I said to Emily, I says, "Now what is it we've been watching?" And we watched. Bird Box is what it was called, and it's got Sandra Bullock in it. And you know, it's a suspenseful movie. It really is. I said to her, this is spooky. And she goes, no, I can watch this at night and it's not spooky. To me, it was spooky. And I kept saying, um, because I don't care if they spoil this, the end of the story for me. So I would ask her, well, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Because I want to know. I like to know ahead of time before it actually does. And so she she's uh, seen the movie several times, so she was able to tell me what was going to happen. Um, so that's what I watched, and it was really, I was really into this movie. And I missed the first half, so I probably should watch it again, so I at least see how it really started. But it's a really good movie if you like suspense it does have some sad spots in it but i yeah. think all movies have sad spots in them but it was suspenseful um i will also i'm going to put it in right now i'm going to put this little video in i'm making a rag rug and so we'll put the video in right here today while i've been watching videos i've been working on my rag rug I decided I would put it back on the loom and I've got the wharf these are called wharfs and I was doing the weaving and these are sheets that I just ripped up and I'm trying to do a pattern where it comes it's it's white light and dark light and dark these will have to this will probably be the back side because I'm seeing where I tied the things so it'll probably end up being the back and the other side will be the front but Jim made me this rack a long time ago and I decided I would use it. I've made a few rugs on it. In fact, I gave Emily the, the one that came out nice. I had to add these bars because I was getting these bars because it was making it narrow on the inside and it, you don't want it to do that. So this is something that I've been working on. You know, when you watch these videos where they're working on projects and they get it done in an hour well this is all day's work notice I'm not very far in the last video I think I had about four rows five rows maybe now I've got this many and this has been all day all day long I had a few mistakes in it and I had to take them out so there's no mistakes in there right now this is actually working out great a long time ago Jim, I was watching rag rug movie or videos on YouTube and it looked like something that I wanted to do so I had Jim make me a frame to put it on and since then I've seen other frames but I like this frame. The only thing is when I would make the rugs if they didn't have this bar that I've got, I've got a bar there but I had to reinforce it in the middle so it wouldn't angle inward because the rugs that you would make would start out nice and wide and then they'd go like a narrow because the wharfing, the ones that go up and down, would you'd be when you'd be pulling it would get tighter and tighter because the framing wasn't holding it. So now I'm thinking it will hold it because I did put some I put some screw Shocks. hooks in. It was supposed to be screw eyes, but I didn't have screw eyes big enough for my little rod that goes down through and my rod is the poles that we use when we have snow so it's a pretty it's made out of fiberglass fiberglass driveway markers yeah they're they're pretty strong so i've got two of those down the side of it and um right now i'm because i, I, I in the video you saw how far i was well i don't have too many pieces of strips of material left so I thought, well, you know, I'll take one of those that didn't turn out so good. I'll take it apart. They're not easy to take apart, but I'm going to, I will get it apart. And it's going to, the material will be a little different than what is on there, but that's okay because it's just a rag rug. 
It's for my entertainment. Um, have you ever noticed chickens gapping at the mouth when they walk around and they've got their mouth gapped open? It's because they're too hot. Our chickens will do that. Now, like the last few days, they, they drank a lot of water and they would walk around with their mouths gapped because they are just so warm. They've got their winter coats on and they can't take them off. And so that's how they they cool down. They cool through their mouth. Kind and, of like a dog and does. And they cool panting. through their, their crowns their crown. and their wattles or whatever those things are down below. That That's how, it's like a dog, yeah. And probably, maybe their feet too, I don't know. I know dogs sweat dogs mostly on their feet. They pant a lot. Yeah. But if you notice the chickens doing that, it's because they're too hot. And so what I do is I give them some cold water. And I also, if I have something frozen in the freezer, I'll put it out and they'll peck at it um, and try to eat it. Or you can put a watermelon if you, if you don't eat the watermelon or the rind or whatever. The part of, you can put it in the refrigerator and give them something cool. And they, that they enjoy. Um... Blue bike and Doyle. This this is parts. He was he took a bike ride today, and his it was it was a challenge. I guess he either is giving himself or I don't know if it's a challenge that he's challenging others to do or not. But the challenge was to go to some place that was kind of close but take the long way there. And he had like a CVS store he was going to go visit, and he it was like I don't know maybe four to six miles away. It wasn't very far away, and he ended up going way far away like over 30 or 40 miles I don't remember the miles part mm. but all I know is, is he was turning the wrong way to get to the CVS <laughs> just to take the long run and that made me think of when we had the foster children and it was summertime when they came and I really didn't want them to know how close town was because once they figure out where town is that's where they want to go all the time so when we went to church, we went probably four miles to get to church. We went the long way to church. And we it was great until school started. And when they went to school, yes, it was a very long trip in the morning. But when they came home from school, we were the first stop. So they and then they realized that we were so close to the to the village limits. Yes, we are pretty close. So they, they started trucking to town, like teenagers will. But it was great for the summer because we were able to keep them thinking we lived way out in the boonies, way out in the boonies. And it was kind of nice. It's, sometimes I used to wish we did live farther out because this way they would, they would not want to be traveling to town. Because a lot of times I'd, I would get the runners, the ones that would run away or truant, and they were truant from school. So... The object of my, for me, was to try to keep them put and in school. And if you live close to a town, it's really hard. And I've had even some that would walk barefoot all the way to their regular town, which was 36 or 37 miles away. They didn't care whether they had shoes. And I had one girl that, when she came home from school, because she was she was to th steal terrible. This was before people started wearing pajamas every day. I'd have her put her pajamas on, and would you believe she went hitchhiking and somebody picked her up in her pajamas and brought her all the way to her her city that she lived in. And it was like, I can't believe they, they didn't question, why are you in your pajamas? They didn't question it. They just took her. So that was, I guess, the video for today. I don't have anything that's silly, funny. <laughs> Do I have any funnies today? No. Mm -hmm. No funny. Sorry. No, no chuckles. <laughs> I didn't have any. Um, nothing happened that was funny. I um, did get some eggs. I haven't checked under Silver. And Silver's really looks, when you look at her, she looks like determined. Like, don't bother me. So I have to put a cap over her head in order to check. Yesterday I found three eggs that weren't supposed to be under her. She had ten eggs under her. And that's far too many for that little tiny bird. Seven is way too many, but I'm going to let her keep the seven. But she had ten eggs, and Emily helped me get the eggs out from underneath her. And today I got 
six eggs, did I say? I think, I, think I said a six. So tomorrow, I'll have to check because tomorrow should be a bigger day. Every other day, I get more eggs because there's a few that I think they, they only lay every other day instead of every day. And there's a few that lay every day. Well, that is my video for today. Um, and I will talk to you all again tomorrow. So you have a great night. Bye-bye. I almost waved too soon. <laughs>